like, do you doubt yourself when you see down 80 to 90%? What do you tell yourself when you see the red and you're like, oh my gosh. So we are very data-driven, very research-driven. And so many people ask me uh, where, where, where my, why I have such strong conviction. How could I have such strong conviction when these stocks are down that much? And it, it is, it, it comes directly from our research. And if you don't think we are, uh, uh, you know, double checking and triple checking our research and our assumptions uh, going into the research and basically our clients and the social world is helping us uh, battle test those assumptions. Uh, what we see as our stocks go down 80 to 90 percent, if we're right, uh, we're seeing the total rate of return expectation increase for the next five years. So we keep our eye on that prize. And if the world and if our research is correct and the world has not changed, we've just moved into a risk off period with inflation and interest rates, uh, the, the reason and this move toward back towards benchmark stocks, the reason our stocks are going to be dumped, we wouldn't be selling our stocks. We'd be picking them up. And that's what we do. We average down during risk off periods. And we also concentrate our portfolios towards our highest conviction names. So we've moved our flagship portfolio uh, ARKK, uh, from 58 names down to 32, 33 names. Uh, and, uh, we're, we're further consolidating in this risk off period, but we tend to bottom out in that low thirties range. Do you worry that the market can remain irrational longer than companies can remain solvent? If it gets to, you know, we're seeing certain stages of certain public markets where it's like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, you've got double the cash than you do your market cap. Yes. Do you worry about that? So uh, what I often say, and, and this was the refrain when it came to Tesla in, in early 2019, when, my goodness, the traditional asset management world was saying, well, this company is going bankrupt. It's running out of cash, can't scale the Model 3. And, you know, our research was, uh, was telegraphing something completely different. And my answer to our critics at that time is, wait a minute, the markets are not closed. This is not 08, 09. Uh, if you look at the very loyal shareholders on the front page, you know, the first page of holders, you will find a group of holders uh, that if you do an IPO or, I mean, a secondary, we're going to be buying into that secondary. Uh, so, and, and that was absolutely right. And that's how I feel about the stocks in our portfolio right now. Uh, 